This is Steve Black from Business Success Training, and today we're going to be talking about your success in business and sales. In this live webinar, we're going to uh, be covering what we uh, did in our learning guide uh, called the Guide to Marketing Your Business with Video, how to make your videos, where to post them, how to advertise them, and more. Video is a uh, great tool for you to endear yourself with your audience, generate leads, create brand awareness, and once you know how to do them, they're super simple to set up. In fact, we're going to go over th four or five different ways to do it, including uh, how you can do it in less than two minutes from your mobile device. So it's going to really be a great session today. Uh, as we start the conversation, I'm going to uh, switch over to the ebook. And we'll kind of go through it uh, step by step. If you haven't downloaded your ebook, it is in the uh, members area. It's uh, next as a part of the resources for today's webinar. And uh, it's called The Guide to Marketing Your Business with Video. When we take a look at video, um, you know, you got to understand the basics, you know, why video is important, different kinds of videos that you can make. Uh, you, you can make uh, the most commonly used or talking head videos where you have somebody talking to the camera. And I'm going to give you an example of that in a few minutes. Uh, other types of videos that you can make, uh, you can make slide, uh, slideshow videos with PowerPoint, just record them and then play them later. You could do screen capture videos. For those of you that are looking for screen capture videos, you're going to need some kind of screen capture software. Uh, one that I recommend is called uh, Camtasia, and that's the one that I use. I think they'll give you a free 30-day trial. It's by a company called TechSmith, and uh, uh, it, it, it'll work on both a PC and a Mac. Uh, when you, uh, in the section two of the book, we talk about researching for a hot business-related topic. You know, a lot of people get stuck about what they can be doing to go ahead and uh, be successful with, with, uh, um, with video, what topics they're going to talk about. So uh, one thing I always tell people to do is to look at what other people are doing that's working. You know, if you're a realtor and uh, you, you know that other realtors are getting a lot of views, a lot of likes, a lot of engagement, try to emulate that, whether that's an interview session with somebody talking about the homestead exemption or tax issues, or it's you being the town mayor going around your town interviewing people that own pizza shops, wine bars, et cetera. Uh, those are both strategies that I'm seeing work real well where they're not talking about themselves but they're talking about uh, topics that are of interest to their client base. Uh, if you're in network marketing, uh, Tia's on the phone and uh, she represents a great health product. And uh, I remember that uh, 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 on Valentine's Day, she fired up her first Facebook Live and unpacking her box of, of goodies. So a lot of things that you can do to go ahead and uh, uh, research and in chapter three we go over all that uh, uh, on three different networks uh, Facebook YouTube and also Vimeo if you're not using Vimeo it attracts a really high-end audience business oriented people so if you're an accountant you're a real estate agent you're an attorney you know those are uh, uh, places in addition to YouTube and Facebook that you'd want to go ahead and uh, and uh, post your videos. Then we get into, you know, uh, how are you gonna create your videos? And we go over a number of tools. And I'm gonna just jump down in the ebook uh, to page 20, and we're gonna go ahead and look at some of these together. We were talking about different ways to make your video. If everybody writes down Animoto, A-N-I-M-T-O, uh, if you're looking for a good tool that you could drag and drop and create great videos, this would be definitely one of my top five. Uh, Animoto uh, allows you to log into your account and you know go from there either create a slideshow put music to it uh, it is a program that you're gonna have to subscribe to if you really want to get the full benefits you know be able to create videos without uh, watermarks etc so check out Animoto uh, like most of these programs they probably give you a uh, free trial before they make you sign up for the paid version but there's quite a bit in the book about Animoto, as you can see. Um, kind of a fun one, um, 
you might may or may not choose to look at this one, but if you've ever seen these uh, animated slideshows with these cartoonish looking people, um, uh, you could make those with a, a tool called P O W T O O N, Potoon. And uh, it, it, it's drag and drop, uh, you know, start from scratch. If, you're, if this is too technical for you, you know, hand it off to a 22 year old and say, hey, make me five videos for my, for my business. So I'm just trying to introduce you to a couple tools here that you might want to explore. There's lots of tools to make video, but the reality is the third one we're going to talk about is one that we're going to go in depth here because uh, Ripple, uh, most of us are mobile. And since we are mobile, um, uh, you know, we got to be able to make videos on the fly. And whether you're on an iPhone, an iPad, a Droid, the Ripple app, R-I-P-L, is a great tool to create videos the easy way. Uh, I'm going to show you step by step, and then we're going to, um, in your book, it says basically you add the photos, you choose your, your template, and you write a caption. But rather than tell you about it, I put together a little video that you'll have access to in the members area, and I want to go ahead and play that for you right now. This is Steve Black, founder of Business Success Training and keynote speaker for the Success Summit Seminar. I also coach entrepreneurs and business people uh, on how to go ahead and take their marketing game to a new level. Today we're going to talk about how to go ahead and create a killer video with an app called Ripple on your smartphone. Uh, it's super simple. It takes less than a couple minutes to produce a great video and it'll give you that edge in marketing. So let's get started. Uh, if the first thing I'm going to do is going to go uh, open the Ripple app either on your iPhone or you can use the Droid. It works on both. It also works on an iPad. But I'm going to go ahead and open the Ripple app. And the first thing I'm going to need to do, I'm taking the library of videos that I've made in the past. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the Aqua Plus button on the bottom. And uh, let me do that for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and start by... Uh, clicking on the area up here where it says add photos and I'm going to select a couple photos off of my phone in fact I'm going to select six or seven I'm going to select one of the outside I'm going to select one of the kitchen I'll get one of the patio area I'll jump back in the uh, dining room we'll get one of the living room and then of the master bath uh, bedroom so that's six photos I'll click save now it says add primary text as a optional feature. I'll add that in. I had it on my clipboard, so I'll go ahead and add that. I'm going to add secondary text. In this scenario, I'm going to add the address. And let's go ahead and quickly type that in. And then we'll be off to the races with customization. We're more than halfway done, believe it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that upper right hand corner flashing uh, arrow and that's going to bring us to this first template. Now uh, where you see my picture, that's where you can have your logo. I'm going to choose to delete it by double clicking on it. I'm going to say hide for this post, but it could be your logo or you could have a picture of yourself there. Um, you can see this is a template that's playing. It's not my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll across the top here and I'm going to find some other templates. The one that I like to use for um, any kind of property for my clients is I like this one here. And this one kind of throws it all at them right up front and then it'll roll through the pictures. Then all I would have to do is uh, edit any of these uh, pictures by double clicking and adding a caption like sp uh, spacious dining room open living room, livable master. Be sure to call me at 813-555-1212 for a private tour of this great three bedroom entertaining home on the water. It's not gonna last. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and change the font, I would just click the lower left hand button. I would then go ahead and be able to edit that font, maybe get this real clean look up here. If I didn't like blue, I would just go ahead and turn this to a different color like red. Um, but I did like blue more, so let's go ahead and get that back up here. And then we'll go click done. 
Uh, we could choose to change the accent color and also add music to it. So I could go ahead, just go ahead and select some royalty free music. I would then go ahead to the upper right hand corner and I would record a video. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got something out of this lesson. I do want to show you one other thing. I'll just back out of this one and I'll show you how to edit those uh, other uh, pictures. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to say uh, great waterfront location. I like to use all caps uh, uh, sentence, you know, in your sentences here. So sentence uh, punctuation. I'll go ahead and type that in. I'll click save. And then if I want to go ahead and make that bigger or smaller, I just pinch on it. I'll double click this one. I'll say granite countertops. And then I'll go ahead and make that a little bigger. And I would continue to do that with all these. Then I would click uh, upper right hand corner. I would produce the video. And there you go. You're in the marketing game. Uh, go ahead and take this to your client. Show them what you're doing to be different than the competition. Uh, promote your events. Promote your opportunity meetings. Promote your business. Give yourself the marketing edge with the techniques we teach. I'm Steve Black. Be sure to like us on our business page at, Fa at Steve Black Speaker. That's on Facebook. You just type in facebook.com forward slash Steve Black Speaker. No spaces. Or facebook.com forward slash business success training. You'll find lots of great memes, ideas, videos like this. We look forward to working with you. Now at this point, you would go ahead and share your video. And um, what you do here is you go ahead and click on uh, the plus sign. And then you choose which of your business pages or personal profile. What I usually do is I usually go to save to photos. I go done. And then I would go ahead and just uh, share it. And that's all that's doing is sharing that to my phone. And uh, it'll add, it'll make a backup so we can later edit it and um, won't take long at all. Uh, it, it, they have a free version, they have a paid version. And again, uh, one of my favorite tools, uh, it, because it's so easy to switch templates. Uh, if I run a video, let's say one week, uh, and then I have the same event going the next week, I don't want it to get stale. And so I'll go ahead and uh, just change the theme out and have something different. Uh, hope you find some value in that. Super easy to use, and you're literally creating these videos. So let me give you a bonus tip. Like I know I got, have a lot of real estate students. Let's say you were going on an expired listing. What you would do is uh, download five or six pictures from MLS, you're not going to be using this for commercial uses. What you're going to do is you're going to go see the seller and you're going to say, hey, why didn't your house sell? And they're going to say, I don't know. Maybe the agent didn't do their job. You say, did the agent go ahead and integrate video marketing to promote your property to get you know, eyeballs on this, on this great piece of property? Because it's rare a property doesn't sell in this market that we're in. He says, I don't think so. You say, well, here's a video that I just created with my team and I had them send it over. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of stuff like this to get you top dollar for your house. Why don't you give the market a try with me? So uh, that's one of those things that then you would take your own pictures. Obviously don't use the other agents pictures, upload them into ripple and create your coming soon video, create your open house video. Um, if you're in network marketing, you know, why not go ahead and grab five or six pictures from your opportunity meeting that you just had and then go ahead and, uh, uh, try to capture the excitement of why people are going to be coming out next week with you. So if anybody has any questions, just enter them in the chat box or ask to be unmuted and I'll be happy to answer them. I want to continue uh, with the workshop and uh, talk about some other things to do. So you can create a video, either a talking head video. When I say talking head, uh, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. By the way, when you're looking up people like my business page, you have these tabs at the top. See, if I search for people, I'd find Steve Black Personal. If I go up here to the tab and I say pages, then I find the business page relating to Steve Black. If you haven't already liked my business page, make sure you do. But what I want to show you, if we went over to my business page, uh, obviously I bring video marketing into play. I have a video cover photo image on my, on my business page. But I want to show you this talking head video. So I was down at the beach uh, getting ready for an event. It was uh, the attendance, the registrations were a little bit slow. 
So I went on my balcony with my long arm, also known as a selfie stick, and I just shot a minute, five seconds on goal setting. And I called it a few tips on how to make lasting positive change from you know www.steveblack.biz. And what I want you to pay attention to is the video, the video got uh, seen by 7,300 people. And that wasn't a must accident. Th those were targeted people. Those were people that live within a 10 mile radius of where my event was gonna be that made over $100,000 a year because that's my template of ideal prospect. That's my audience. And Facebook's very, very powerful targeted interface, which we talked about in other events, we talked about it at the seminar, is, uh, uh, it allows me to get my video into those people's newsfeed. Now, if I just came at them with, let's, you know, come to my event, they probably would have looked at it more of, as spam. But because I had an interesting background, the ocean, a big smile on my face, uh, people stopped and watched this. And then I was able to go ahead and retarget other ads to the people who had watched this, this video for, you know, 10 to 30 seconds. Um, you also upload them to YouTube. So I'm gonna, in the book, we talk about uh, both of these. Chapter 10, it starts on page 44 with how to do it on Facebook and then how to do it on YouTube. And I'm gonna show you both of these real time. Uh, you could always boost a post with the blue button, but as, I, as I've talked about many times, I prefer to go to the create ad tool. And I would just left click on the create ad tool. And then I would go ahead and, uh, be brought to this interface and in previous webinars i've said if you don't know which one to go with go with engagement and that could still work here that could be positioned so that i get a lot of uh, reactions people like the post or they give it a wow or they give it a happy face but because it's a video i'm going to change my strategy and i'm going to go after video views another kind of video that's that, that you can do is live streaming you know facebook lives and I know Joe's on the, uh, on the webinar uh, out of Claremont. Uh, Joe does a, uh, a cup of Joe every day. He has a camera set up in his car. It was kind of funny. He came out of the Success Summit seminar last, I guess, Thursday, and he, he was driving home, and he had his Facebook Live going, and he was kind of reviewing my seminar, you know, talking about how much value it had and, you know, how, how much he was excited to be on the coaching, uh, group coaching calls and, you know, just to continue his journey. And I really had, had, I met him maybe four months ago and, you know, he's, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's a retired Marine and uh, just, you know, good square uh, guy, uh, all around good guy. And, uh, he, I, and he had gotten past his fear of doing Facebook Live. He accepted it as kind of a challenge and now he has two or three of these shows going and he's able to go ahead, stay top of mind. But one thing that you might want to do, Joe, or anybody else, when that Facebook Live is complete on your business page, then you could go ahead and you could advertise it the way I'm teaching you right now. You can um, um, at maximize it for video views. You would name it, you know, um, Beach Video or Facebook Live episode, you know, four, Cup of Joe. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just press continue. And then I'm going to target it. And Facebook's targeting is a lot more... Um, specific than YouTube's, which, which we'll talk about. But let's say uh, I had a lady over at our seminar Thursday, and she says, I want to reach uh, uh, renters in Kissimmee for my first time buyer workshop. I said, easy, do a video or a Facebook Live, uh, maximize it for video views, go ahead and include either your zip code or the city of Kissimmee. Let's see if I get this one spelled right, K-I-S-S. -S. I, there you go, Kissimmee, Florida. No, nope, for Kissimmee. Oh, there you go, Kissimmee, Florida. Um, I'm gonna niche it down for her buyer seminar to 10, 10 miles. Uh, if I, she wanted to use a zip code, and instead she could. She's gotta ask herself, who does she wanna have show up? Probably not 18 year olds. So we're gonna take this to 24 years of age. And then I said, hey, instead of just, because uh, that only gets our audience to 770,000, Let's then go ahead and narrow it by going after income, uh, 150,000 or more. 
We could choose a lower amount, but let's go 150 to 250. Now we're down to 74,000 people. And since she wants to attract first time buyers, we're gonna narrow the audience and then choose renters. And I know I'm going through this fast, but um, we've done so many uh, videos, so many webinars in the members area. We have the eBooks on exactly how to use targeting. Last month's webinar was, uh, has a 117 page book on Facebook ads on how to leverage them. So I want you to go through those, look at the past webinars in the webinar section, find the resources and learn how to do this stuff. But now I have an audience of 16,000 people and for a budget, you know, as low as like $220, I could go ahead and advertise to 16,000 people in the Kissimmee area that make a lot of money and are renting. Maybe, uh, you know, just say, hey, if, uh, you know, do something catchy, you know, throw dollar bills up in there. Hey, are you making a lot of money and giving it to your landlord? If you'd like to quit throwing your money away, uh, come to my first time buyer event. It's gonna be, you know, this Wednesday night in Kissimmee. And then uh, she could have a link there to an online registration page or she could set up an event through Facebook. So this would be a specific example of creating a video and then promoting it. All right, so we just talked about, you know, di different videos. We talked about, you know, when they're ready, uh, upload them and uh, then, you know, promote them. Uh, the only way you can do this is from your business page. You can upload the video to your business page. If you're doing a Facebook Live, you know, even if you have 5,000 likes on your business page, only 50 to 100 people might tune in while it's live. But then if you decide to post it, it's going to appear in people's newsfeed that you're live and uh, they'll be able to comment and react uh, uh, even though it isn't quote unquote live. You can also promote that. And that's the secret sauce for some of you. Like Joe, uh, you're doing your cup of Joe show. Why not promote that for $2 for two days to people that like your page? That's one way you're gonna guarantee that you can get in their newsfeed. Because what Mark, uh, Mark Zuckerberg said back in uh, January 14th was as he changes the algorithm, uh, using video isn't gonna necessarily guarantee you a, a, a place in their newsfeed. In fact, people are gonna be seeing less video. Uh, the only way to, to overcome that is to understand that you can also promote and boost your posts. So I just showed you how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it on, um, on, link, on uh, YouTube, but a question just came in from uh, Tia that says, do you need a business page to select your target audience? Absolutely. You cannot promote your post on your personal profile. So again, uh, I know you've uh, run into some issues with your company saying you can't have a corporate page. I think that's nonsense. Uh, I think maybe you can't have a corporate page that it has the name of your company in it. But if you created a page that was dedicated to health and wellness or TIA public figure, uh, set up your Facebook Live that you do, and then go ahead and then promote it to people that like, uh, you know, Weight Watchers, people that like uh, uh, Shackley, people that like other companies and health and wellness, Gold's Gym, then you can have your message in front of the right people that are gonna react, ask how much those products are, how can I get a sample, et cetera. So you're gonna need a business page to do that. Uh, best way to get your business page going, if you haven't already done it, is to go ahead and do your migration. Business success training com forward slash migrate will take you to the menu and that's a one time thing and then you could go ahead and have a business page set up. And even if um, you, you never, uh, you, with that technique, if you have a thousand friends, you're gonna end up with a thousand likes. But even if you only have one like on your business page, if you understand how to use the promoting tools, the advertising, you can reach whoever you want. So you're gonna wanna go back to last month's webinar, specifically on Facebook advertising. That 117 page guide I put together, really I think is one of the best pieces of uh, training out there uh, in, uh, currently so um, you're the only ones that have access to it I haven't even released it before I move on I want to show you how to go ahead and use uh, YouTube it's quite different I'm gonna go to YouTube and YouTube for those of you that don't know is owned by Google so if you have a Gmail account you would sign in I'm gonna sign in in the upper right hand corner um, by going ahead and um, just entering my login 
So I'm gonna create a channel, this is good. So for the first time, I'll go ahead, I'll create a uh, channel here. Uh, this little hobby account that I had created. Uh, now if I wanna go ahead, uh, now I have a video a channel that's set up for myself uh, based on my Gmail account. Now um, to go ahead and upload a video, I can either drag or drop or I can uh, left click and pull one off of my computer. So if I want to go ahead and upload uh, the, the, the demo movie for Ripple that we did, I would just go ahead, I would select it, and now it would start to, to, to populate it. It's gonna take you know three, four minutes to upload depending on the size of the video and your internet speed. Uh, I would want to keyword uh, tag it like, you know, how to make, uh, this is the title, how to make a great video on your smartphone in less than two minutes. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, my, my long tail keywords being, you know, how to make a great video on your smartphone. So I'm gonna put it down here in the description as well. Uh, and I'll just embrace, uh, add a little to it. In this uh, five minute video, Steve Black, I'll go, uh, link it to my webpage, dot biz, teaches, how to make a great phone and video. Then I'll give it a hashtag. Uh, hopefully you guys all have your hashtag set up that you use for your post. I'll put in Steve Black Speaker. I'll tag this as uh, video marketing uh, training. I'll tag it as social media. And once it's uh, uploaded, I'm only 6% into this, then I could choose what thumbnail would appear. The thumbnail is really important. And uh, sometimes what you'll do is uh, actually, you know, take a photo, upload it, it'll give you that option. If I wanted to add it to a playlist, so I would create a new playlist and I do it under social media training. That could be houses listed in Claremont. It could be um, uh, health tips. Whatever your videos are on YouTube, organize them by creating a, a playlist. I could go ahead and choose to make this a public post. I can make it unlisted, which means the only people that could find it are the people who I sent the link to or have the link. I can make it private, so uh, it's just sitting there uh, and I can save it, uh, look at it later, or share it later, or I could schedule it to go out on a future date. All right, and then I would just press publish, and then uh, they're telling me once it's published, it, uh, I'll have this short code to, to share with people. So if I go ahead and publish this, it would say uh, done. Now I'll return to, uh, I'll go up here to my YouTube account, and if I wanted to advertise it at this point, what I would do is I would drop down here to where it says Creator Studio, and I would left click on Creator Studio. I'll go ahead and go there to show you what it looks like. Here's the video that we're in the process of uploading right now. And to advertise it, what you do is you go here to the info and settings. Now, if this was uploaded, there'd be a drop down, and the, the fourth choice would be promote your video. You would choose to promote it, and from that point, you could target um, maybe people that eat out a lot or people that uh, are healthy. Uh, it's a little bit more general than, uh, than uh, Facebook's targeted ads, but where your ad is gonna show up let me go ahead and um, talk to you. Where your ad is gonna show up is as other videos finish, let's say that I was advertising um, on Tony Robbins' coattails. So I know his videos are getting millions of views. As a speaker in the personal development niche, I can then set it up that, hey, I want my videos that I've done 
to be the ones that show up at the, at the end of them watching the Tony Robbins event. Or I could go ahead and choose to have it display on the front end where uh, they can't actually watch the Tony Robbins video until they watch at least, you know, five to 10 seconds of my ad. And that's all just structured through the, the, the YouTube interface. And so go through the chapters in your book. I think it starts on page 50 and that'll teach you a little bit more about that. So upload to both places, YouTube at a minimum for SEO purposes. I do recommend promoting them so that you get lots of views to people that are local to you who are interested in what you have. Ever upload them to Facebook so you get all the benefits of uh, the autoplay features and so that your videos don't end up looking like this. Let's see if it's there. Here you go. So this is an example of um, what happens. I, I uploaded a video last night to YouTube. I have it all over Macly said it went out on Twitter and then posted my personal profile. I always set this up so it's only me because I don't want just random stuff coming out to Facebook. But the, the real uh, gist of this is because it is a short little link linking people to a YouTube video, this is all they get. They, they just get this instead of getting that whole uh, full, full, full area auto playing video. And that's why we upload not only to YouTube, but we upload to Facebook. Uh, if you're gonna use that third network I talked about, Vimeo, um, upload it there as well. So we talked about a lot. Um, uh, do I have any questions from anybody uh, up, up to this point. Michael, have any questions? Rebecca, hashtags. Uh, Rebecca had a question of hashtags. How can I best use and or create them? So, uh, good question. First off, uh, in regards to hashtags, you should have your own hashtag that you use on all your posts. Now, this is gonna be uh, just simply having a, ha uh, a pound sign. Uh, Rebecca, what do you do for a living? Uh, let me let me assume you're a real estate agent. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, go Rebecca. Oh, financial planner. Okay, re, 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 Rebecca. Uh, um, uh, you're gonna have to check with compliance on this one, but you know Rebecca uh, knows uh, money. All right. So that you know, if you started using Rebecca knows money on all your posts on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, where hashtags are really important as they are on Twitter, on Pinterest, then I would have, be able to click on that relatively unique uh, hashtag. Now there's nothing stopping somebody else from also using Rebecca Knows Money or piggy tailing you, but um, the majority of posts would come up as yours, and that's sort of an online folder for you. Uh, I recommend uh, that, you know, uh, Tia, who's in health, you know, Tia keeps you healthy. Uh, but, but be consistent, make it catchy, uh, go offline with that when you do events and include your hashtag, uh, um, text it to people. And, uh, you know, you have now something that's online that's yours. Now, uh, if you're looking to research other hashtags, uh, there's a tool, uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys. I think it's called Hashtagify. And uh, let, let's, let's go there together. So I'm, I'm gonna share my screen, hashtagify.com. There you go. So if you're looking really to get into seeing what's uh, trending, what's popular, you know, to see if a lot of other people have already used your hashtag, you go to hashtagify.com. It will redirect you to this link, hashtagify.me, uh, and uh, it will show you a hashtag. So if I put in hashtag um, Rebecca, uh, knows. Now you never uh, have spaces. I would uh, be able to see, hey, there, 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 there's not, nobody out there doing that. But let's say I wanted to do Florida real estate. It would, uh, with no spaces, it would say, hey, here's all the 
uh, hashtags related to Florida real estate, real estate, perfect, realtor, Florida, luxury, real estate, home, loving, live, uh, so forth. Here's your popularity trend. Here's the languages that it's being uh, used in. Here's the spelling variants. I mean, this, this tool will give you all the information you need about hashtags, uh, other people that are using these hashtags. And um, we had a student at the recent uh, Success Summit seminar. He was a second year in real estate with his license. Uh, he made $264,000 last year. He did it all off of uh, Instagram and uh, he says the key is just make sure you're using the right hashtags so when people click on for Florida that your posts get found. So I hope that uh, helps clarify a little bit of the questions on um, hashtags. Teenagers use them just as exclamation points. Um, I do as well. Uh, what I like to do sometimes like, like uh, when I see a post from a client or uh, somebody uh, that's a business person, I'll, I'll put hashtag rock star or I'll put hashtag uh, Joe uh, superstar and you know they they see that it doesn't mean anything or you know not gonna really lead them anywhere but it's sort of an exclamation point that uh, they're killing it so a couple ideas um, what else can I talk to you about in regards to video if anybody has any questions you want me to unmute you I'll be happy to do that uh, let, me, let me just review my notes here and uh, see, see, see what else we uh, should talk about. So we've talked about a lot. We talked about Ripple. I'm gonna give you that tutorial video. Uh, for Hashtagify, we talked about um, how, to, how to go ahead and get to that spot. I just put that in the chat box for you. Uh, in, the e in the ebook we uh, and learning guide, we talk about uh, green screen videos. If you get a green screen set up at your house, or your office, then you could use the software to, to act like you're in a newsroom or you could be over a city and that's how they do those special effects. So the wall behind me, it would be green, I'd have lighting on me. Um, those systems are, are really uh, affordable. Uh, if you went over to uh, Amazon, let me go ahead and, and, and take you there. If we went to Amazon um, and First thing you'd want to get from Amazon maybe is a, a unilateral lapel mic uh, to make better videos. Uh, as important as uh, the, 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 the video is the sound on your video. And it's easy to get good sound like right now on my Mac computer, I'm not using a microphone. But out in the field, I like to plug in a uh, lapel mic and uh, record that way. So that's something that you're going to want to invest in. I'll um, make sure to put this link in there. It's a total $12.99 and it's uh, uh, their, their number one rated best selling microphone. Another thing that you could explore is uh, green screen studio kit. And um, what would come up is stuff like this. Now this is too, this is too much money here for this. It's $269. But uh, as you know, when you go on Amazon, I'd be looking for one that was pr on Prime. Like this one would be a good one to use. You know, $85, you could have, uh, it's gonna go, be really compact. It's gonna give you the uh, lighting. Um, so you have the diffuse lighting and uh, you can make green screen videos. And then once you have the green screen video, uh, then you're gonna uh, have to have somebody edit it for you. So you could go on fiverr.com. You could say, hey, can you put this in the background of uh, me in a newsroom? And uh, then you can put together these videos that pop. One other little tip, uh, if you're ever interested in um, up upping your game and you're looking for a better camera, uh, both for DSLR and also just to shoot your videos, uh, get yourself a, a Rebel 7i camera. Uh, I was just blown away at how much difference there was between shooting a video or a Facebook Live with this camera and using your Droid or your iPhone. iPhone. It really is huge. Also, the fact that you can use wide, wide angle lenses, etc. So, if you're ever looking to upgrade, uh, I'd probably be looking at something like uh, this Rebel. Um, uh, 7i kit, about 850 bucks. If you want to save a few hundred, go with the uh, T6. That, that'd be a good camera for you. So um, 
Let me go ahead and put those links here. Here's the camera link if you're interested in ever uh, getting a camera. Uh, here would be a link uh, for um, the second item we talked about, the uh, green screen. And here'd be the one for a uh, microphone. So uh, copy and paste those, save the chat so that you know uh, where to find the tools that'll help you be more professional. Right now, I'm just broadcasting from a friend's house uh, with my MacBook computer. I'll be able to take this video though, this uh, that I'm recording with my Camtasia, and then I could chop it up and have little nuggets, uh, say, hey, here's a 30 second sample of Steve's big video uh, webinar, and uh, just give me your email address and you'll have access to that or join our members area. So different ways that you can uh, do, uh, do it, but uh, with today's technology, I always like it to be a little higher than lower. All right. Um, the editor company, Michael. Um, so what, what I would do for editing, uh, you could start with Fiverr, all right? And th there's a lot of foreign-based people um, that, you know, they're working in the Philippines and $10 to them is, you know, like 200 to us. So you could put your gig out, you look for people that do vet video editing, green screen video editing, and Fiverr is all $5 per gig. So you would upload him the video, the, the video that you did in green screen, and then he would set it to whatever template you wanted. Um, that's going to be a little hit or miss on, uh, on uh, you know, who you're dealing with. But if you find a good guy and you do 10 videos a year, you're in it for 50 bucks. It's incredible. Uh, your local guy at your BNI or your chamber meeting, you know, he might charge you 150 bucks. Uh, another uh, site to find people to do editing, uh, you could go to upwork.com. And Upwork uh, it, it, uh, has uh, people that, you know, they're going to be higher projects. You're going to put your bid out there on your job, say, hey, I have a video. I want a bit, it to look like I'm up in a newsroom. Whoever has experience in, in editing videos, they're going to bid on the job. You give them a little job. If he works out for you, you know, problem solved, you'll be able to use them in the future. Otherwise, you know, check uh, locally with uh, your leads group, your chambers, and, and BNI. All right, uh, what else do I have here? Questions. So we talked about, um, about uh, uh, let's see, great. Uh, any other, have I missed any questions here? All right, Michael said, I tried the Facebook promotion after your last session. I, I invested $25. I reached 668 people close to, uh, close to my business and I had 56 engagements, still getting action from it. Thank you for the training. Very powerful. Awesome, Michael. Hats off. Now, you know, I use the rule of $10 for every 700. It kind of depends on how targeted it is or what the context, context is. I don't know what you posted, but... Um, you got to make sure that it doesn't have too much text in it. If it has more than 20% text, they'll reject it. Uh, if they do accept it, you're going to pay more uh, per reach. But uh, to be able to reach people and get those engagements, your magic there, as I talk in my six-step process in social media, success, now it's the monitor engage. Go back, look at who those 56 people were, send them an invite to like your page, and let me show you guys how to do that because uh, uh, that's, uh, I don't want that to go over your head. So I can go to any uh, post that I've done on Facebook on my business page. Let's go to uh, Steve Black Speaker. And if I was to go ahead and review, and this is one of those daily activities, I think we covered that in a webinar maybe two or three months ago, different things you do on a daily basis. Um, like this one here. So I went ahead and put up the video tutorial that you guys will have access to. I'm boosting it right now. It's telling me, hey, my video is popular right now with women between 45 and 54. I've gotten 179 views. I've got 12 people to go, uh, uh, 15 people to go ahead and react to it. Michael had 56. Now I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down. And if any of the people uh, that had liked it hadn't already uh, liked my business page, there'd be a button here that would say invite. 
uh, if they were ever uh, the kind of person who said something nasty or they gave me an angry face or whatever, if I don't want to deal with them, let me show you how easy it is to get rid of them. I could just go right here and say ban from my page and they won't be able to come back and see my stuff because who needs that negativity? All right, so great stuff. Uh, great, gr great reason to be on these uh, webinars and interact and ask uh, questions. So uh, kind of winding things down, I, I want you to go through your ebook on, um, I want you to go through your ebook. Uh, there's uh, 65 pages. I see that I uh, put the wrong page number for the conclusion and top resources. I'll update that. But there's 65 pages in the workbook and uh, four sections, uh, things you should do and don't. One other thing I want to talk about is one thing that I included in the uh, premium section. Awesome, Michael. Um, Tia asks, can you recommend a way for me to find millennials that can do videos for me? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, you're, you're out there. Uh, if, I, if I recall up in the Seattle Tacoma area, I think you're active in networking. You just need to ask around. Ah, there's a great guy. There's a great guy in Seattle. Uh, he's the one that did my cover video. Uh, he, he was at the seminar. He's a member of Ignite You. The guy is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna message you his name. The guy is terrific. If I had him out here in Orlando, we'd be doing videos every day. Let me show you what he did for me. Uh, if, we, uh, if, if I go to uh, share screen, watch this. His name will come to me, but he's an Ignite You member. I don't know if uh, you're part of Ignite You, but see the video that we did up here at the top? He came out to my event, he filmed this video, he tied it in with me talking, he basically told the story of my business, and I can't tell you how many great responses I've got. He's also done some really funny stuff up in that area. Tia, that would be the guy I go with, and uh, I'm gonna find you his name right now by messaging my friend. Um, Kieran, I don't know if you know Kieran. Uh, go, if you haven't been to Ignite You, uh, they have Tuesday and Friday meetings. What's the videographer name and number? Uh, but he, he's dynamite, and that would, he's not, he, I don't know if he's still a millennial, he's maybe mid-30s, but he, uh, his name's Tim, Tim something. All right, so uh, other ways to do that, uh, you could go into, onto Instagram, you could post a request on Facebook, you could say, can anybody recommend a, a good uh, video guy? That would be some of my other suggestions there. Thanks, I think I talked to him. Yeah, he's awesome. He didn't gouge me and um, just did great work, I'll tell you. If I had him out here, I'd, I'd have him uh, follow me around every week and doing videos. I, and the way to get your money's worth, let's say you hire him for three hours, you go into a studio and you say, okay, I'm going to do 10 modules. You do the 10 modules in one big shoot and then you have them edited them and chop them up. Uh, in Orlando, Florida, I have a guy that uh, named Marlon Mora and he'll, uh, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll do great videos if you need some stuff and, and uh, in Florida. Marlon Mora, he's one of my friends on Facebook. If you need his information, he's in Orlando. All right, anybody have any questions before I wrap up? I think we covered a lot, and I think uh, hopefully you're better now than you were. You know how to make different kinds of video. We talked about um, the videos. Uh, uh, let me get you that video link also, uh, uh, and I'll upload it in the members area, but since I saw it there, uh, we talked about Ripple. If you want to go ahead and uh, watch that video again on Ripple, yeah. Uh, his name's Tim Kraus, Tia, and, uh, and uh, his number is 253-208-9407. All right, so what was I gonna show you? I was gonna go ahead and um, and give you guys this uh, um, uh, link for this video as well. All right, here, here's the uh, Ripple demo that we did. 
will correlate with chapter five in your book, but that's the Ripple demo uh, video and it's online for you. Um, how do you get to the members area uh, for business success training? You should have gotten an email for, from us, but I'm gonna give you the link. Uh, what you would do is you would start, uh, whenever you're stuck, just write this down, business success training dot com forward slash members and that would take you to a page and the page uh, looks like this and then you just click up here and that'll bring you to the area that you log in at and then once you're inside the members area because I was already logged in uh, then to find any of the webinars or past webinars, you click here on webinars. And then like today's webinar would be right here. And uh, later on today, it'll say replay. And I'll post today's webinar in that area as well as the resources. And all you would do is you would click on it after today, it's gonna to have the webinar video in here, and then you could also always find your download here or over here. Last month's, let me show you last month's, the Facebook ads. And if you just joined the program, you know, you have access to all the, these past ones on Hootsuite, on Pinterest, on Facebook Live, on how to go ahead and grow your following and convert them to leads. Uh, our 2017 uh, webinar on a three-step process, including retargeting. Uh, last month's, uh, the, the January one on game plan, super strong, uh, four resources there on uh, a written business plan for your success. And uh, last month's webinar, if you went into last month's webinar, uh, here on Facebook ads, you'd see that it's, uh, the replay is right here for you. And over on the right, you have a 117 page training guide, you have a six page checklist, you have a cheat sheet, and then you have the handouts to follow the webinar. And if you ever miss one of these webinars live, it's, it's always uploaded within 24 hours, so uh, you'll be able to tap in. But nothing better than live because you can't ask your questions. Um, go back over here. Uh, any other uh, uh, questions? We got this. Great. Appreciate the good feedback. Hey, I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to just say get started with your videos. Uh, do a quarterly market update from your desk. Uh, if you're doing a, an event, an opportunity meeting, an uh, uh, open house of any kind, go out there with a Facebook Live, promote it to people that might be part of that target, and uh, don't be afraid of it. You can always delete it um, with your Facebook Lives. Get used to doing them on your personal profile, broadcasting only as yourself. Let me show you how I do that. So I got a message, a couple new questions came in. Uh, a couple new. I just tried Ripple, fun and easy. Okay, great. Uh, let me show you one more thing: how to broad, uh, do your first Facebook Live without um, uh, messing it up. So, what I would do from your smartphone or, or your laptop, you go into Facebook. You can only do this from your personal profile. So, I'm here on my personal profile. I'm going to click on Live Video right here. And now it's getting ready. I'm not broadcasting the world, but what you're seeing on the screen is Facebook Live getting ready to go live. And over here, instead of it being public, I have it set to only me. So I, if I had never done a Facebook Live and I was nervous, the, what I would recommend that you do on your phone or on uh, your computer is go over there, do a Facebook Live, record it, uh, always, you know, put in your hashtag, you know, somewhere, make it conversational, talking about video success. Enter questions below. Now, obviously, if I'm broadcasting myself, nobody's going to see it, but after it's done and I feel it went well, then I could go ahead after I'll click go live. I'm not going to do it because I might lose you guys. I don't know if we can monitor the camera twice, but um, then I would, it would say 
do you want to post the video? And once I post it, then I could download it. I could share it over my business page. I could advertise it from there. But um, this is a good way to try your Facebook Live, get past your fear, and uh, don't have to worry about it messing up. Blessings. See you at the top.